Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the unboxing of my BoxyCharm and if you guys follow me on Instagram you, you guys have already seen the box that I received but if you don't um, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and unbox my BoxyCharm um, for the month of February. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what's in my box. Alrighty, so we open it up and we have the little postcard here and the theme for the month of February is Afterglow. So it just comes like this and of course the description of what's in my box. Now I did mess up and um, I completely forgot there was skincare in this box and I already did that. I'm actually going to skip out on the skincare because I completely forgot and I already did my whole steps. So, show you a little glance of the box, but the item I'm going to skip is this one. This is from the brand Tula, um, which I've tried Tula before, and I like their cleanser. They have a cleanser. It's really good. This is their probiotic skincare. This is Bright All Night Energizing Sheet Mask. It's a two-sheet mask, and this is exclusively for Boxy Charm. So, it comes in this like little Ziploc bag. And there's two in here so you guys can see that so these are the only ones I am NOT using for this video and they actually sent two of these so there's a total of basically four masks then the next product in here is this one right here and I'm gonna use this one next so this is from touch and soul this is the no pore blem primer um, it's like almost like problem, but but they're adding pore in there. So it's just like clever the name how they did it And this is supposed to smooth and pore cover. Um, I'm assuming it's it's just gonna cover your pores and um, Yeah, so this is basically a primer and this is what it looks like So I'm gonna use this um, like I said, I already moisturized and everything, so I'm gonna pump this out. Okay, so it comes out looking kind of, it's like, almost like a lightish pink, but, and it has a scent of something. Not too sure, but, um, it doesn't smell bad. So I'm like putting it on the areas where... I know for a fact I have a problem with pores, so my forehead, see if that covers it up, my nose, and right here the cheeks. Now I do have a like breakout and uh, it's just annoying. I've been just breaking out lately, just like hormones and stress, but uh, yeah. This is almost like a... It's, it comes out like a cream, but it almost feels like silicone on the face. But yeah, that's how it that's how it feels. And the scent is not like overpowering. It's actually not bad. And um, yeah, it feels it feels really good on my skin. Well, let me see how it looks um, on the mirror. So it does seem like um, it like smooth it did make my skin smoother um and covered some of those pores of course there's some that are just like there uh yeah this worked really good uh so we'll see how it works with the foundation that i use on top of it so actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera because everything else is basically to use once i'm like done with everything on my face so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be right back and use the next couple products alrighty so I'm back and I finished most of the face and and I just have three items left to show you guys so I'm gonna jump into this one over here which is a mascara this is actually from Too Faced this is their better than sex mascara now, I didn't use this one because I've used it before and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, like, I don't really care for it. So I just went ahead and used a different mascara and then also put lashes on. So um, that was one of the other items in the box. 
And next one, I'm going to grab this one right here. This is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. This is their Shimmering Swan. This is, uh, this is a highlighter and the shade is Glow Up. So this is the shade right there. It's almost like a light uh, peachy pink. So I'm going to apply this. And for this, I'm just using a Luxie. This is actually a precision foundation brush. But I'm just using it for the um, highlights. So we're going to try this out and see how it looks. So I don't know if you guys see it. see the highlight right there. I'll just add some more. Oh yeah, you can see it. I'm looking at my through my mirror right here on the side. So you can definitely see it. It's almost like a goldish, like a goldish pinkish. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So from an angle, you, you can see it right there. So that's a really nice highlight. I haven't tried any of their highlights, uh, but I have received one of their blushes in a past BoxyCharm as well. So that's really awesome. Then we have one more product in here, which is this. So this is from the brand Grande Cosmetics. And this is their Grande Lips. This is the Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick in Semi Matte in a Razzleberry shade. So it's basically a purple. So this is what the packaging looks like. And that's the shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and it is supposed to have like a plumping effect. So we will see. Alrighty, so those are the lips applied. So it, it is a pretty intense uh, purple. Um, not something I normally would use, but it's a really nice purple, but you do have to have like some makeup on. So that's why I kind of did this. I didn't do something intense on the eyes because obviously the color is so intense on the lips. So I kind of just kept it like this. And um, yeah, it's pretty. You know, like I said, it's not the usual thing that you would wear but it's a really nice uh, shade. It is plumping so I do feel the like mintiness kind of not too much tingly but if you are sensitive you probably would feel a lot of the tingling. Um, so yeah I do see the whole like plumping effect going on so I don't know how much it's gonna do. Um, it's not like a big deal for me like I mean it's pretty cool if it keeps my lips moisturized then it's all good it is a semi matte so um there's still like some it's not like completely dry i guess and it's not like drying it whatsoever so that's cool so yeah that is basically it that was just using all the products from my boxycharm for the month of february now i did want to share this with you guys but this is actually my last box for boxycharm i did end up canceling my monthly subscription and also my boxy looks i figured i wanted to try different subscriptions i really love boxycharm the only problem is that sometimes some of the products that they include are not cruelty free therefore i can't use them and you know i'm setting it aside for giveaways um which is cool because i give back to you guys but at the same time i want products that i can use and that's why i'm paying you know a monthly fee for a subscription box so it is my last boxy charm so i did want to share this with you guys so this will be the last boxy charm video that you guys will see on my channel unless i decide to um resubscribe again you know it's a whole different thing but yeah i did want to let you guys know but with that being said i mean that's just basically the whole look i came up with um i do have my dog right on my lap because he's being a little crybaby so if you see something move here that's that's him but yeah that is basically it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it 
and um, if you aren't subscribed to BoxyCharm, you guys should totally check it out. You get full size products and it depends, it's four to six and then and if you have BoxyCharm then you can upgrade to the BoxyLux which is awesome because you even get more products and uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen my past boxes you guys can check those out so you guys can see the variety of things this month they didn't include an eyeshadow palette which i'm fine with um they did provide other things that i was able to use but yeah <laughs> with that being said i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your family or friends and i will see you guys for the next one bye guys